I got the idea of data abstraction. Mm -hmm. And it was, you know, this marvelous idea came out of nowhere. But I, once I got it, I could see that this was really going to work because programmers already knew about abstract data types. I mean, even if they weren't thinking about them, because they knew when they used an array in their Fortran paper that this was not something the hardware that had. This was something that you used through a set of operations, and under the covers there was an implementation going on. And certainly you knew this in spades, and if you were using Lisp, which was what I wrote my thesis in, because there you used Lisp, and it was clear there was an implementation underneath, and that they were abstract. So I felt programmers could understand the notion of data abstraction. They only understood about procedure abstraction. And the data abstraction was more powerful because a procedure, oh, by the way, they were sometimes implementing a data abstraction with a procedure abstraction by having a whole bunch of extra arguments mm -hmm that controlled the different things the procedure was going to do. But that was a mess also. So I felt you know, this was something that programmers would feel an affinity to and something they could understand. And I think another thing that was important about it was, so it was a bigger module. It fit an idea of modularity. You needed something bigger than a procedure in order to really make progress. And it was also an abstraction. And that was important too because when you design, you need to think abstractly and having a thing that matches the abstract thought, you know, that helps you with your design. So being able to think in terms of what data abstraction do I want for this place? What procedure abstraction do I want for there? This is a design approach. So it was also useful from that perspective. 